Hello everyone and welcome back to my Moon Envoys channel. Um, as you may be able to tell, I am recording this right after the last episode because I feel rather guilty for how long I left this channel alone and I plan on getting through as many videos as possible in the time that I have left on spring break. Um, so I have plenty of content to upload and hopefully this will also give me motivation to keep going. So, last episode was just a straight up introduction to Fire Emblem Three Houses. We played through the tutorial level and that is it. We didn't really get a chance to start being silly, but I hope I was also able to give you some pointers for that initial tutorial level. And now we just finish up having been drawn back into this weird mindscape dream world with um, green-haired Sothis, who just remembered her name, I think. So let's go ahead and say, what are you talking about? What? <laughs> And again, I just love how offended the Japanese voice actress for Sothis can sound, so that's why I particularly like her. Alright, and as I mentioned before, we are going to be playing a very serious, straight-laced, and completely incompetent as a teacher Byleth. Which is actually really funny because I am a teacher outside of YouTube, so I just think that this is going to be fun. However, I am also going to choose um, things that I know will get me affinity because I know that that is important long term in this game. So I'm picking this for the affinity. So, ja, you can't get it. 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 You can't get Please don't make it sound like you're doing me a favor when you literally said as soon as we arrived in this weird space that you saved my life because otherwise you yourself would have died. But let's be a good go boy and say thank you. So, Look, we even bowed. It is a bit concerning that you are doing things without knowing how you are doing them. As a teacher, that is usually not a good thing. But we'll roll with it for now. So, what will happen when time resumes? Hmm. Well, that's not good. Alright, so... This one's probably the silliest response. But again, let's try to get some Sothis affinity. And suggest, how about she turn back the hands of time? Because that's the only one of these that really makes sense and don't involve us dying. So <laughs> Alright, 
And this is another point where I just like the Japanese actress's delivery better. Because the English voice actress for this line sounds like she is very confused about what she is supposed to be saying. Alright. So now we're going to go and have a little bit of a flashback. No, but seriously, Edelgard, I left you your axe so you could keep defending yourselves. Also, how did she get so far away from the others? Kept us all bunched together on the battlefield. So many questions. Ah, and here's another one where I just really enjoy the Japanese voice actors take. So I hope you guys are able to enjoy it as well, even if you w voted on my Instagram poll to listen to the English voices instead. <laughs> So good of you to show up after the battle, when you cannot help. Alright, so that is officially the end of the prologue chapter. Um, each level, it does name the MVP. Usually this is either the character who got the most kills, um, or otherwise, like, dealt the most damage. I'm not 100% sure how they pick the MVP, but in my experience, that's usually who gets chosen. And I made sure Byleth got all the kills. Alright, so let's do a quick save. Oh, he is so dedicated to his character. それにもう団長じゃない。今はただの流れの傭兵。そういうわけで、次の仕事があるから。またな。ええ。では、またどこかで。てそうなるわけないでしょうが。団長には修道院まで来てもらいますからね。ガルグマク大衆動員か。へえ、そうなるよな。おや、もしかしてそちらの若者は団長のお子さんですか？ So, a number of people really get tripped up by this, but yes, he is my father. So we're going to go say it ahead and say that is correct. Although joking by saying that I'm a bandit does earn you Eloise affinity, because Eloise likes when you joke with him. So he's going to be a bit hard to earn points with. Oh, don't look so disappointed, Daddy. どうかしましたか、団長。まさか逃げようなんて思ってませんよね。彼のセイロス騎士団を相手に逃げ出せるなんて、さすがの俺も思ってねえよ。セイロス騎士団か。確かに腕が立つものどもの用じゃ。これ
All right, so now let's get to better know. それにしても腕が立つのね。あなたは傭兵なのよね。しかもあなたの父は。聖路好きしたんの元団長。歴代最強の騎士と歌われる。怪人ジェラルト。So this is our first introduction to these characters and our first real chance to talk to them and actually respond, unlike in the battlefield. So let's see. Again, we're playing a very straight-laced, if inept, teacher, so I didn't know he was a captain. あ、俺たちは大衆動員に併設されてる士官学校の生徒なんだよ。課外活動中に盗賊に襲われてな。ひどい目にあったってわけさ。あなたが真っ先に逃げ出すからじゃないの。And so as you can see we're starting to get a bit of an idea of who these characters are and how they normally behave, and also how they treat each other. That's right, that's right. Listen to me, you. I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to get out of here. The soldiers are going to get out of here, and I'm going to get out of here. That's such a funny story. Clodo, you're going to think about that kind of thing. みんなのためにお取りになったものと思っていたがそうに決まってるでしょ言葉の表しか見ないようじゃメイ君にはなれないわよ言葉の裏ばかり読んで猜疑心にまみれてもメイ君にはなれない気がするがなおっと帝王学
All right, so now we're going to get our character's thoughts on each of the house leaders. Again, we are a silent protagonist, but this is where we can start seeing what the character is thinking um, outside of the thoughts that we give them. So let's see, Edelgard, she's a refined young woman. But I feel as though she is always evaluating me. Dimitri. He seems quite sincere. But I sense darkness lurking beneath. Finally, Claude. His easy smile is striking. But that smile doesn't reach his eyes. And back to sleep, so this goes. Still haven't made it all across the street. ホグマ山脈から吹き下ろす冷たい風が弱まるとフォドラの大地は豊かな緑を芽吹かせ一年の始まりを告げるやがてその緑が大樹へとなるように人々は自らの生が実り大きいものとなるのを祈って年始を
ここに来るのも何年ぶりかねえ今さら Oops, sorry Cut you off there a bit, Dad? But who's this? Do I want to ask about her? Or... Well, let's ask. You've been here before? Oh, yeah, you've Who's this Lady Rhea? お前も知っての通りこのフォドラの住人の大半はセイロス教の経験な信徒だそんなバカでかい教団の最高指導者が大司教であるレア様ってわけよお待たせしましたジェラルトさん大司教の補佐をしているセテスああどうも久しいですね
It is definitely deliberate. この師範学校の教師でもある。君は文章を宿しているかね。一度我が輩の部屋に来て調べたまえ。私は真似ら教師兼医師兼歌姫よ。よろしくね。that's a lot of things, but you're a songstress? Oh dear. Manuela Quite frankly, this is the first time I heard that I was being given a teaching position. I know nothing about even what this place is. So, yeah, this is, again, I will repeat myself as many times as necessary, but this is not going to go well in terms of me being a teacher. So here's where we finally learned that yes, these people really are that important. ファーガス神聖王国から来た者が所属する。今年の旧長は王子のディミトリ。彼もファーガスの次の王になるだろう。最後にヒルシュクラッセ。ここにはレスター諸行同盟領の子が属しているわ。旧長は諸行同盟の
セテス彼らは大丈夫です。それよりもシャミアから報告があった不審者の件が気になります。教会に悪意を持つ者がこのガルグマクに出入りしているのなら捨ておけません。ああ、その件もあったな。引きずれや。今は君の言葉を信じるが何か怪しげな点があったその時は。Alright, so there's the setup. Can I make it across? Oh, maybe. Oh, I did! Finally, even though I stopped randomly. Finally made it across the screen. Also, I am still female Byleth in this sprite, even though I am playing as male Byleth in the game. Curious. Well, I do seem to be doing some research. So now we'll get some idea of what these characters are supposed to be, so I know exactly how to make them do the exact opposite and ruin them. Well, these ones are more personality ideas. The Blue House, we actually get to see some of their preferred weapons. Rhea, and that is a slightly creepy smile. Alright, so I know we literally just got to the very first ability to explore, and I didn't really get to do a whole much, a whole much of anything that episode, but I am going to go ahead and end it right there. Thank you so much for joining me for the second episode of my Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play. I'm hoping that we get to do a lot more this next episode. We'll get to see some of the characters. I'll be able to pick my house and maybe even start messing with these poor characters' futures. So, thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching all the way through, and have a wonderful day.